So in today's episode, we're going to have a conversation about my experience of having drank a cup of coffee for the very first time and how it went south very quickly and very badly. And I wasn't expecting to have happen what happened. I had no idea coffee could do this to a person. I thought, okay, it's going to be bitter because coffee has a bitter smell and a bitter flavor because I've tasted the caffeine of coffee in other objects like uh, Zoa, the Rocks Energy Drink. So I knew it had a very bitter flavor and I don't like the smell of coffee. So I was like, maybe if I could drink it with some chocolate, maybe I'll like it. But Today, I found out the hard way why I will never drink coffee again. So let's roll the intro, and we'll be right back on the Audio Whoop-Ass Podcast. Ha-ha, what is up, everybody? Podcast! Fitted around. around. Talking about bullshit and other things. Hey, what's up, guys? Today's conversation is... Today... For the very first time in my life, I ordered a coffee. And you might be thinking, what's so wrong about you ordering coffee? You never had it before? Nope. In my 38 years on this planet, I never went out of my way to drink coffee. I can't stand the smell of coffee. I can't stand the bitterness taste. Some of y'all out there are like, hell yeah, coffee's the shit. Nah. And I'll tell you. What it did for me, basically, today, I didn't know coffee did this. I drink energy drinks occasionally when I work out. So I use it like a pre-workout so it gets me a little energized for the gym. But I go to uh, a gas station and I get myself a latte, right? And I get it with some chocolate and some whipped cream. And I'm thinking, okay, it's going to have... A chocolatey flavor. It has no chocolate flavor whatsoever. It tastes terrible because we're focusing on the bitterness flavor of the coffee, right? So, basically, was the coffee good? Absolutely not. The thing about it was, the taste was way too overpowering. Way too strong. And it ended up making my stomach upset and making my stomach hurt and I was like that's weird and I looked it up and it says coffee for first time people can actually be a laxative and make you shit yourself and I'm at work and I'm telling you I'm working and my gut's going and my stomach's going wait what's going on here and at first I go to the bathroom I do my little deed, maybe in there like five, six, seven minutes, and I literally have to go runs, right? I have to take a shit. I know y'all are like, uh, yeah, I was, I, I came out of the bathroom saying like, nobody go in the bathroom for about 35, 45 minutes. Somebody open the window. I end up going back to my workstation, and I'm still working, 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 and probably about a half an hour later, it's about maybe a level four. I'm like, eh, I could wait. I was trying to finish my work, and then I realized, oh no, this is a emergency level 10. And I go to one of the bathrooms. They're working on the bathroom, cleaning it. So I go to another bathroom, and this bathroom only has one stall, so I have to wait for the dude to get out. And I, I actually literally was like, knocking on the door of the bathroom stall, like, yo, uh, can you hurry up a little bit? And he's like, why? I'm like, if you don't hurry up, I'm going to shit all over the place. And he's like, really? You can hold it? I was like, no, I'm at like Death Con 5. He's like, you better hurry your ass up. So uh, he ends up hurrying up, gets out. And I swear to God, it was the biggest, loudest fart you ever heard. Like, <laughs> like it was a loud but deadly it was loud and deadly and I'm talking it was disgusting and then I'm sitting there reading online and basically it says which I will read for you guys uh, 
here in a uh, second. I will scroll back through my text messages because I was talking to somebody about this. And it says, is coffee a diuretic or a laxative? Coffee can be a diuretic or a laxative for some people. Regular coffee consumers, coffee, which is a diuretic for people who feel the urge to poop after drinking coffee, it acts like a mild laxative as well. So for a lot of people, I didn't know this, they drink coffee, right? And then they might have to go to the bathroom afterwards, right? I don't drink coffee. I don't frequent Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or your local coffee shop, right? I don't go to Tim Hortons. I don't do that, right? So I didn't know that coffee, if you've never had it before, can basically make you shit yourself. And that's exactly what it did. It made me almost shit myself at work. And I'm like, I cannot be doing this. Because I'm trying to do this new thing, like a, like a add more calories to my uh, diet, more uh, protein to my diet, and... Somebody that I was talking to said they do a bunch of things and they use caffeine. I said, oh, do you use caffeine as like a energy boost in the morning? And they say, no, they don't use the coffee as an energy boost in the morning. They use it kind of like the calories because I don't know what the calorie count is in a uh, latte. Let's let's go to Google. How many calories are in a 12 ounce latte? According to CSPINet.org, a tall brings the calories into honorable mention range. Okay, it doesn't really say. It says uh, 170 calories, and it has 20, uh, I guess, grams of fat in the uh, coffee. So, it was just a straight coffee, and it was so bitter, like I said. It was disgusting. I didn't even drink half of it. I didn't even drink a lot of it. But now that I know that uh, coffee can cause you to basically do this, I'm never drinking that shit again. I have no reason to drink it. I'll get my caffeine from either green tea or from other things like an energy drink. I'm not getting my caffeine from it from a coffee. I can't under I don't understand how somebody could enjoy the smell of it, enjoy the taste of it, and just drink it like it's like you're drinking a uh, soda. That I I don't get it. That is like the worst tasting thing. That's worse than drinking vodka straight. It's worse than drinking rum or whiskey or a beer. I was like, damn, if I knew it was going to make me shit myself, I wouldn't even have drank it and went to work. I would have just stayed home and sat on the toilet because I was afraid, literally, that I was going to just shit myself. And that's disgusting when you're in a workplace and you're literally sitting there going, I don't hope I don't fart because if I do, I'm going to shat all over the place. I'm telling you like it is, man, because this is the nastiest sh- I've ever had. I tried the Rocks Energy Drink. I think it's called Z- Zero or Zone or something like that. The Rocks Energy Drink. Zoa, according to Hone Health. But then I was introduced to the Rocks Energy Drink, Zoa, and I had to try it. Okay, it's called Zoa. And basically, they have, um, green. I think it's uh, coffee as the uh, natural energy in there, which is the natural uh, caffeine. And when you drink it, you get that extreme bitterness flavor. And that's what I got in today. But it was like amped up to 11. It was like so bitter, it's not even funny. But I know a lot of people will say, well, coffee is bitter, but you get used to it over time. Sometimes people mask it with chocolate and other things. Maybe... If I would have masked it, masked it with chocolate and vanilla and all this other crap that you guys put in there, like your scientific experiments, you, you, you go to Starbucks and people are rambling off like 42 items that go into one drink. Maybe they want like a milkshake, but they're getting coffee because they want that caffeine fix, but they want that. But at the end of the day, I'll never go back and drink another coffee. I don't care if it's a latte, a cup of coffee. I don't care if it's a mocha, if it's a cappuccino. There's nothing out there. If it's going to do this to me every time, I don't want a part of it. Especially, I don't want a part of it if I'm traveling somewhere, if I'm eating breakfast somewhere, or if I'm going to work. Because I didn't expect 30 minutes after I took a drink and drank maybe about, maybe three drinks off of it, they were small sips, that I was going to be in the bathroom, 
in myself. That was not what I expected. But now that I know that it's uh, a possibility that it's a diuretic, it's a laxative basically, why would somebody want to drink something that's going to make you want to sh yourself? I understand if uh, it makes you want to pee a little bit, right? But if it's actually literally making you where you have to run to the bathroom and you got the sh then I don't want no part about it. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. So for me, this was the first time ever having coffee and I did not understand why I was shitting so much until the person I was talking to, my girl, and reading about it online. I had no clue that coffee did this. She goes, yeah, don't you realize after people drink coffee, they go to the bathroom? I was like, absolutely not. She's like, really? I'm like, I don't pay attention that people that drink coffee and go to the bathroom. I, I don't, I never took a correlation of that. Like, I can see energy drinks, I can see beer, people drink a lot of beer and they have to go piss, but I never took a correlation of people shitting themselves after dr drinking a cup of coffee. So, at the end of the day, that is my little rant, my little story about drinking coffee never again so if you guys have any coffee stories or any weirdness let me know with a comment down below and i will see you guys in the next one that was just something i had to share with you guys because i was trying something new i thought okay i can if i put some chocolate into it i mask the flavor a little bit i can deal with it and get that little caffeine fix get a little bit of calories in me in the morning but again i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it like i said i didn't realize that's what was gonna happen but again guys you live so again guys your boy will never and i repeat never ever drink a coffee again I didn't realize it would be such a terrible experience I thought hey I'm gonna try something new try something different but yeah that happened <laughs> ruined my day I'm glad we got out of work early because I was not feeling a-okay just to sit back and say yeah we can do this we can we can uh basically every half hour on the hour sh myself but again, uh, I'm glad I was able to make it to the bathroom and do what I had to do. But um, yeah, guys, uh, now it's like 3.30 in the afternoon. And all this happened between me getting the coffee at about 7 and about 11. In that time frame, I drank from about maybe 7 to maybe about 7.15. And that was it. I just sipped on it. So I didn't take a lot of... Um, big gulps of it I was gonna try to down it I'm glad I didn't because it would have been a hell of a lot worse so I don't understand why it's a diuretic or a laxative or whatnot I don't understand that but now that I under I know it can happen your boy's staying away from it but as always that's been another episode of the Audio Whoop-Ass Podcast. Thanks for watching.